I can't drink too much coffee, man. I, I, I ruminate. You know what I mean? Like the thoughts, you know, the overthinking, you know. Like I used to work in IT support and, um, man, the boss was like, a, oh, man, I've been ruminating about, like he'd come up to me and say shit like, oh, uh, how come you haven't changed the toner cartridge in the printer yet? And I'd be like, well, I haven't gotten around to it yet. He's like, well, you're letting the whole team down. Do your job. <laughs> and he'd walk off. Now, what do you do when that happens? You don't go up to him and go, fuck do you say, cunt? Like, fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't even fucking say it, come on, say it again. You don't do that, do you? You go, oh, sorry, man, excuse me, sorry, yeah, thank you, thank you, sorry. <laughs> then the revenge fantasies begin, don't they? That's when the revenge fantasies begin. <laughs> fucking talk to me like that, fucking say that to my face, you talk to me like that, you fucking motherfucking. And they grow over the week, like you just sit on them, fuck, I'm gonna kill his family. <laughs> Kill his family and fucking leave a different coloured toner cartridge on everybody. <laughs> fucking save cyan for your kid, mate. Fucking cyan for your kid. <laughs> I, uh, I got fired from that job for, for turning up on magic mushrooms. Um, I wasn't like, I'm not stupid. I didn't take them and go to work. I took them the night before and in a graveyard, it was, I saw a UFO, I fucking swear to God. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but I, <laughs> I came to work and I was still high, I didn't plan it. I'm sitting in the 8 a.m. boardroom meeting and I'm fucking like, let's fix these printers. You know what I mean? Like I'm ready, I can already feel one of them's disconnected, I can feel it. One of the USB cables has come out, I can feel it. <clears throat> And the girl next to me in the m meeting we had every Monday, was, she's sitting right there. She gets a phone call, finds out her best friend had died. Boom, right there. And then she gets up and leaves, right? Immediately, everyone's like, holy fuck, what do we do, what do we say? And then we finish the meeting and we go out to the big reception area and there she's at the door, crying, about to leave. And I'm there and everyone's like 8 a.m., fucking walls are up, and, but I was still very, open. So I walked straight up to her without any fear at all. I said, fear nothing. I love you. And she just turned and grabbed me like this and started like crying on my shoulder. She's just crying like this, like grabbing me, crying, holding me. And everyone's watching this. And they're like, what the f And the boss sees this and he like walks over to me and he's like, why aren't you wearing a shirt? <laughs> He's like, why have you got these charcoal pentagrams and symbol, like devil symbols and shit on your body? And I was like, well, this is how I come to work now. And I thought this was genius. I was like, if everybody wore charcoal pentagrams and you were the only dude in a business shirt, you'd actually be the weirdo. And he said, what the fuck? are you talking about? You're obviously on drugs, you, you're fired. And uh, yeah, so now I do this. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, there's ever been a, if there's ever been a good time to legalise mushrooms, it's right now. You know, let's legalise them. People need to be connected more. Um, give them away, if anything, you know, like... Because like, it's such a, it's a very individualistic time. It's really the height of the individual, you know, and um, I can't imagine my generation dying for something bigger than themselves, for example, like, like hands up if, you know, you die for your country. Yeah, that sort of, that sort of went out of fashion, didn't it? Remember when that was all the rage? That's why Defence Force ads used to be like, sign up, we want you, fight for your country, die for your people, like, fuck yeah, they signed straight up. Have you seen Defence Force ads now? They're like lifestyle commercials. They're like travel, study, learn yoga, shoot people in the fucking face. Then eat a curry in an Asian market. The army, relax, unwind, defend. There's like a dude in an infinity pool looking over the Middle East. Like fucking... Got that weird look like fucking... 